Hello, and welcome back to Genesis Noir. This is a point-and-click adventure game with a noir setting and a like jazzy twist to it and a very captivating art style. Um, last episode we completed, I think the last like level or chapter we completed was called Reflection. We saw Golden Boy here, who is the uh, prime suspect for... Uh, Miss Mass over there murdering Miss Mass um, and causing the Big Bang. We uh, unveiled another... I don't know if, like, if what these little dark spots are are, like, other black holes. I doubt it. Or maybe they're just, like, dwarf stars or something. Um, so now we're gonna go down this way and we gotta inspect these. A suspicious shape. Only folded space-time, however. Okay, interesting. Let's go into this one. Oh, this is the next one. A work of art is spied from afar. Well, let's jump in. I don't know how integral the other ones are uh, to, like, look at, but... A dark smudge lingers in space, pulling everything in its vicinity towards destruction. Inescapable, the black hole even absorbs the light that enters its event horizon. But rays that narrowly avoid the event horizon are bent around the massive object. Space-time curves like a lens and the beams converge on a focal point behind the black hole, forming an Einstein ring. Stand at that lonely point in space, and distant sights will appear magnified as if upon a vast canvas. There's the black hole. That's us. I also, in, uh, probably in both of the episodes now, um, oh, and we're using it as, like, a spyglass. Inter interesting. Okay. And uh, it's kind of funny, I uh, used that image there for the first video's thumbnail, even though it wasn't actually in it. Um, interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I actually made the mistake in the last two episodes, probably, or at least one of them, that uh, we were playing a detective, but we are not a detective, in fact. We are, like, kind of trying to solve a mystery a little bit, um, but we are like a watch peddler, uh, as evident from the beginning of the game when we were selling watches to people. Cufflinks carefully taken off before getting dirty. Oh. Oh, and those are the, um, the swirl, like, symbols we found. Uh, what else are we supposed to look at? There's no... Can we... Oh, okay, we click and drag to look around. Interesting. Okay. What's Golden Boy doing now? There's a, another thing here. Is that a button? A button torn off while doing some heavy lifting. What is he lifting? These planets and stars? I guess. Seems to be the case. There's more of that stuff there. There he is. I want to go this way. There's nothing around him there. No. Okay, keep going, keep going, uh, I can't interact with anything here. He's the lifting a giant star, potentially, oh, I hear, or I guess those are just the dot, oh, wasn't letting me go too far to the right, uh, this is fine, right? There's nothing here in this uh, image of Golden Boy. Those stars there are just twinkling. So let's keep following this yellow path close up of his hand. Uh, okay, nothing there it seems. Nothing to do with that. Okay, and now this got a little cutscene. Whoa. He's like teleporting around or something. 
Oh, he's putting... Is he putting the rings on that pa uh, planet, or is he stealing them? Could be... Stealing them. Oh, and he's... He cracked the planet open? A planetary ring holding the pigments... Pigments of several dead worlds. Okay. So he's cracking worlds to make the make the rings he's got like a oh that's like a paintbrush and I guess this is like his his uh, his paint palette thing the remains of a planet crushed and ground into a fine dust uh, okay how do I exit there we go uh, nothing else to click on there what about here no Oh, and he's got a little mirror thing. Makeup mirror, it looks like. Ooh. I'm very fast. Okay. Now this. Another little cutscene. He's teleporting away again. Oh, okay. There we go. We're back. Alright. Let's keep moving. We can't click on this at all. Anything here? Oh, we can... Oh no, this is just what I was doing already. This is a... He's... Is he making a galaxy? Is that what this is all about? Yeah, I guess it must be. He's painting the... Painting the galaxy. From all different angles. Okay, let's follow... Whoop! I went past it. There we go. Oh, it's... Well, it, I mean, it probably is a galaxy, but it's a self-portrait. Whoa. He's serving us a piece of paper. <laughs> Got a pen in his pocket. A press photo, pre-autographed and well-worn. <laughs> He's thinking we want an autograph. Ah, he left his pen behind. Perfect. An ornate found pen used to draw flamboyant lines. The ink has run dry. Okay. I love that he just puts the giant objects in his coat. Okay, let's click on that symbol. This was like a weird in-between uh, level, though, because we didn't get that, like, that text uh, implanted in the scene anywhere, I don't think. Are we back in the apartment? We are. Okay. Yeah, we're back here now. And is the pen... Yeah, okay. The pen is going to go back on our evidence shelf, which also gives us another swirl. That's good. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know if clicking on this needs to... An unfinished mechanism? Yeah, okay. This is still just the same thing, but... Uh, we are getting more of these swirls, which is good. Um, yeah, I had, I did have a comment uh, saying I was going a little bit fast on this, like, evidence board and stuff and having the swaying going around. It just seems to be very uh, sensitive over in this section as well. I will try and be a little more, uh, a little slower with it. Uh, yeah, this is all the same still. Plans to feed a black hole. Okay. So let's go back over to this. And I think we can just keep progressing. What's this one? Leftovers from a dead Nova. Oh, is that what these are? Dead Novas? A dead end. Click on this one. Okay, a searchlight blazes, but Golden Boy is nowhere to be found. So I wonder, maybe these ones, the ones that have... Oh no, it disappeared. Oh no, it's still there. The ones that have like a little gray outline might be the actual um, places we're supposed to go. Uh, oh yeah, we were supposed to. It's like inside there. All right. 
my little uh, little section of text. As the pull of gravity claws together clouds of interstellar atoms, tremendous pressure builds and a fire is ignited. The star is born in a halo of dust, its belly full of hydrogen, helium, and lithium. Inside, fusion digests this initial meal into progressively larger, heavier, and more complex elements. Growing larger and heavier with iron, the star finally collapses and bursts into a supernova, unleashing a wind of rare heavy metals, no, nope, heavy elements in its dying breath. Is that what that image is, or that like expansion of atoms and elements? There's the constellation of Golden Boy. Question mark. Oh, we're going into a galaxy. Or is this a supernova? This might be a supernova, actually. Oh. Do we fucking hold? Oh, yeah, I think we... Quick and hold. Okay, well, it doesn't do anything. Ah, I see. Uh, like this? There we go. I think that's working. Speeding it up. Oh no, it's a solar system now. Correct. Do we need to keep swirling? I assume so. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's the sun collapsing. Do I need to keep swirling? Probably not. There's a deer. Okay. Then we gotta follow the tracks. Follow those tracks footprints. Oh, there's some wildlife, or not wildlife, <laughs> uh, flora growing. Ah, here we go. This is the next official section. Hunt. Okay. I'm gonna wander through a forest in search of the deer. Came across a, a bush. Ah, more tracks and a little uh, mouse friend. Let's keep look. Oh, there's a snake. No, nothing there. Ah, there we go. There's more tracks. Wonderful. What about there? Right there. Good. Oh, and fresh leavings. <laughs> Great. Oh, we've come upon a stream. The trail runs cold. Or so it would seem. Can I click on... Oh, I can just... Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I can just walk forward. How about over here? This looks like a spotlit area. Doesn't seem like there's anything there, though. Anything over here? There. I mean, this kind of looks like something. Yeah, there we go. Found it! Oh, maybe not. Just kidding. So I guess we, yeah, we'll probably still be on the lookout for the footsteps, or footprints. <laughs> you call uh, tracks of a deer footsteps? <laughs> oh, maybe he's deer cleared the snake, just in case. This looks like another spotlit area. Interesting. Oh, there's a cave. That's promising, even though we didn't find uh, more more footprints. We shall see. 
Well, I mean, the light at the end of the tunnel definitely might mean something. Hello. What's the deal here? There's a painting of Golden Boy on the roof. Is that a woman over there? Eating something? A mushroom? Oh, and she's drawing. Drawing things. Ah, she's drawing the deer. Keep going. No. Oh, there we go. And she's gone. Okay. And now we're leaving the cave. Alrighty. <laughs> now where? Can't go that way. Oh, there's bats on the ceiling. What about down here? Probably not, right? Oh, hello. Is that... Ah, okay. Yep. So now we just follow the uh, human footprints. We have our heading. Oh my. We have many tracks on the ground now. To follow. Oh, hello. Who are they looking for? I guess these aren't the ones we're looking for. So we're just gonna go. Well, I. Ah, uh, no, they all kind of look. Oh no, those are different. I think these are the ones we want. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Yeah. That kind of looks like the woman we we saw. I think that's supposed to be a woman. Not quite sure. Oh, there's more deer tracks. Wonderful. Do we have to move the leaves out of the way? Oh. There we go. Found the deer again. Deer. Oh, dang. What that means, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> the mute moon looks very uh, realistic compared to everything else. Oh, and now we're like in a weird state. Oh, whoa. Why did we look like the devil for a second there? Can we... I'm assuming this is what... Is that what we're... Oh, okay, we were just going the wrong direction. So we're supposed to let it decompose. Interesting. Okay. And then can we take... Oh, I see. The remains of a male creature born from the ashes of a dead star. Fatally sought after, feminine hands wished to possess it. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> and I'll take that. Checking the time. And now we're going back. Fantastic. Let's get out of here and then we'll see if we can complete maybe one more of these uh, missions, levels, whatever you want to call them. Great. So, is the deer antler just going to go on there? Yes, it is. And it's going to give us another one. Perfect. Okay. I don't know if there's much... Uh, Point in looking at this? An antler from a stag, once part of a star, it was pursued for its strange beauty. Okay. That's all we really have attained. Let's go back over to the board here. I mean, we could probably technically just go straight to them, but I'll, I'll look at each of these. A neutron star that has stopped spinning. 
Okay. Oh, it's not. Okay, the feeling of being watched overwhelms. Alright, well, let's just go go for it. So my theory on the whole, the ones with the gray uh, border aren't the only ones. Eyes look to the night sky and the stars proclaim that winter is approaching. An end of days is foreshadowed in the twinkling of dying stars, and a harvest is gathered in preparation. Even subtler yet, more ominous patterns are witnessed through patient observations such as the sorrow cycle of eclipses, which occurs every 18 years. Those who return to the same location after three repetitions of the cycle will experience unforgettable awe as the heavens turn black. Okay. Observe. Oh, just observe. That was going to be observation. We're walking towards the Golden Boy uh, constellation. And now it's upside down. Uh, do we... We can go that direction or this direction. Oh, hello. What is this? Putting a helmet on? Oh my. Uh, what do we... Oh, hello. What's this? What's... Do I just look at it? Oh. Okay. Uh, is it sup... Oops. Oh. Oh, do I connect to all of these? Is that the idea? Oh. I have no idea what... Which ones I'm supposed to connect to and which I'm not. Oh! Points linked into the shape of a sinister hand. The healers burn amputated limbs in its honor. Okay. Let's go over, whoop, over to this one. Connect all of these up. Is that, is that it? Oh, we gotta probably do that. Yeah. A timepiece made of celestial components. Priests pray that its light never ceases. Great. Oh, I keep wanting to go the other direction. Let's get this one. Did that work? I think so. And oh, not that one. I think you get some hints like that. A bottle illuminated by moonshine. The brewers raise a cup to the night sky. Okay. Nothing in that one, or that one. Nothing in the corners. There's another one here. That works. That works. Is this going to be like a chest? Or a box of some kind? Oh. Lights arranged in the shape of a drum. The dancers perform myths of a great battle. Okay. I guess that's a, a drum. <laughs> Uh, any others? Nothing there. Yeah, this can be, uh, pretty sensitive. I don't know if it was this sensitive with the controller. Oh, it worked? Why did it work like that? We do this. Yes, we can. We can do that. Stars form an animal form. Child... Oh. Char oh god, stars form an animal from childhood fables. Infants giggle at its foolish hurry. Good lord, that was a challenge. And one more. Go. Not that one. Wait. Really? Maybe. No? Oh, we just do that. A village made from the heavens. The builders haul giant stones to recreate its brilliance. Okay. <laughs> oh. A giant four-armed being. 
Do I do anything? Oh, just click. Okay. Alright, and now we can keep going. Is there something here at all? The village is bigger now. What do we... Oh, there we go. Putting the helmet on again. Are we going to do more? We are. Okay. Let's start from the bottom this time. Let's try this one. Really? Not that? Okay. Interesting. So maybe that one? No. No. And... Oh, they overlap. Okay. What's this? Brilliant lights form a bracelet lost in tragedy. Under its light, widows ceremony ceremonially discard their jewelry. Okay. Uh, that looks like another one. Wait, what? Seriously? Which one is that going to connect to? That one? Okay. There we go. Dang, okay. Comets fly by a dark celestial bird. Storytellers switch between a dove or a vulture based on their audience. Okay, whoop, there's one. Is it too easy to think it's going to be that? Yes, it is. <laughs> there we go. Distantly pulsating stars portray a broken heart. Mourners wail to the unending darkness above. <laughs> Good lord, that's... That's grim. Okay, that's not... No. That. No. Really? Where? Oh, it, it actually does show you. Okay. Vibrations of visible light reach distant eyes and evoke a leer. Musicians compose songs as they dream. Yeah, okay. So we can actually, like, just uh, straight up see. Like, obviously that one. And then that is supposed to connect there. Yeah, okay, cool. So when you click and hold down, it shows you. Gravity has pulled matter together in the shape of a cosmic comb. Mothers weave celestial patterns into their children's hair. Uh, we completed that one already. There we go. This might actually be the last one, potentially. I'm guessing it's that. Whoops. Uh, I think that's... Wait. No? Oh, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Go. Twinkling stardust evokes sweet aromas. Maidens gather flowers under moonlight to cast a spell of attraction. And we found them all. The goddess of love, I guess. Interesting. Oh, right, we gotta click. I forgot about that part. <laughs> okay, and then maybe one more. There he is, yep. We're following this dude around. Third time's the charm. One more to go. Well, let's let's start with this one. Okay, it doesn't really say, I guess, because there's multiple. Oh, screw you. There we go. A constellation of a tree shades the world. Lovers create new life under its ample canopy. Okay, let's do this one. That is going to go... No? Oh, that wants to go there. That? What? That totally wants to go there. What are, you, what are you talking about? Okay, fine. Uh, that one? Why doesn't this want to connect to anything? Oh, there we go. A trail of stars embodies a serpent or a worm. Druids quarrel about its portent. Important being like what it actually is. Oh, uh, can we go there? No. No. Let's do that one. Oh, maybe we just do that. Yeah. Fragments of the Creator become celestial human figures. The dead take their place in the heavens. Okay. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I wonder what this one could be. Burning suns mimic a lit intoxicant. The chieftains are placed upon a pyre, and the smoke mingles with the stars above. OK, 
Okay. Uh, whoop, that's a little fast. Okay, there's a couple more over here. Oh my god. A <laughs> constellation of a gun. An ominous weapon that threateningly lingers over the world. Hunters make offerings of blood to it. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, maybe like this. And like that? No. Oh. Like that. There we go. Stars cluster to form a cornucopia of overflowing gifts. Worshippers pray to it for a plentiful harvest. There we go. Another one done. Excellent. And is that going to be all of them, I wonder? Ah, now we've got a, a burning man. <laughs> burning man ritual. Or a wicker man. Maybe one more time. We're watching this guy uh, perform perform the ritual. And look to the stars above. Oh, right, the eclipse. Like us. Oh, we're gonna look at this familiar photograph passed down through generations. <laughs> the autographed uh, thing. The horn of a dead creature spirals into a bouquet of flowers. The many pieces or the many species should be cataloged. Oh, we're taking that piece. Okay, great. A torch used to light a ceremonial beacon. Uh, is there anything else? No, that's it. Cool. We are out of here. And I imagine that will probably be where we end this episode. Given the time. That was interesting. Bunch of uh, constellation uh, connections in this one. Got another clue for the clue board. Is that going to go next to? No. And that gives us another spiral. Fantastic. Alright. And yeah, that is where we'll call it for this video. So thank you all so much for watching, as always. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.